How a free-to-play got top 500 profile pictures in arena. Secrets revealed. You may be wondering, how is it possible that a free-to-play, which is me, got a top 500 profile picture? So today, I will show you the secret to getting top 500 profile pictures. But before we begin, here's a little bit of footage of me reaching top 500 masters. I was top 500 yesterday, but now I'm not, so rip. But the thing is, you don't need to stay in top 500, so I'll just talk about that later. And here's a quick disclaimer. The majority of this video has been filmed in Hollyberry server, so this is my Hollyberry account. So then I have this profile picture right here, and then I will get this last one at the end of the season. So just keep in mind that this guide probably won't work for a pure vanilla server, it is impossible there. However, this is my Dark Cacao account, and I have a top 500 profile picture for this account too as seen right here. So I can confirm that this method works for a Dark Cacao server. So now, it's time for secret number 1. Crystal refreshes. So this really doesn't sound free to play friendly at all, but it actually is. So let me show you why. So after the end of each season, you get a ton of crystals for free, as you see right here. So what you want to do is grind for top 500 at the beginning of the season. I'll go over that later. So then you can use all the crystals you earned from the previous season on crystal refreshes. So yesterday, I was grinding for a top 500. As you see, I started with like 53k crystals, but then at the end I had 46k crystals. So this brings up the question, should you try to get a top 500 profile picture? And the answer is, only if you really want it. Like you must determine if it's worth spending gems on it or not. Cause I spent like 7k gems. Now it's time for secret number 2. You must reach top 500 at the beginning of the season. So the reason being, a lot of the strong players slack off at the beginning of the season and they just forget about arena. And then at the end of the season, they actually start grinding arena. So arena is a lot easier at the beginning of the season. You're just gonna have to trust me for that one. So now, it's time for secret number 3. The most important secret. So you see the top 5 players right here, right? So you wanna time your top 500 grind really well. You wanna make sure the top 5 people are in Masters 1 and number 6 is in Masters 2. So as you see, top 1% of people are in Master, right? So that means if there are 500 people in Masters, then that means there will only be 5 people in Master 1. So you want to grind when there's exactly 5 people in Master 1, reason being, it will be the easiest time to grind. So as I said earlier, the earlier the season the better. And the minimum requirement to get the profile picture is reach Masters top 500. So therefore, if there's only 500 people in Masters, that means it's the easiest time to grind. So basically, you want the cutoff line for Masters and top 500 to be the same. So if you didn't understand any of that, here's a quick summary. Just look at the top 5 people and make sure they're in Masters 1. And make sure number 6 is not in Masters 1. And then you can start using a bunch of crystal refreshes to reach Masters. So now, here's tip number 2. You must have a meta team. There's no excuses for not having a meta team this high up in arena. So you absolutely need to use meta cookies only. So the safest cookies you can use is Karma Arrow, Financier, Espresso, Cream Unicorn, Vampire, Wildberry is also very solid. And then a few more like Dark Cacao, Pomegranate, or Parfait are also solid choices. So your team cannot have any weakness at all. So as you see, my toppings are pretty decent and everything. So here's a little story. So you see my robes right here. The robe buff was supposed to be on Karma Arrow and Cream Unicorn. But at the beginning of my grind, I accidentally had the robe buff on Vampire instead of Cream Unicorn. And that almost ruined my team, so I had to change that. So make sure your team has no flaws at all. And that leads us into secret number 4. Only fight people you know you can beat. So you see my scroll right here, right? It's level 7. So the trick is, don't fight people who have treasures 4 levels higher than you. So my scroll's level 7, so I refuse to fight people with level 11 and 12 scroll. And the same for the robes. If anyone has a maxed out enchanted robes, I'm not gonna fight them. However, I did beat a few people with a level 10 scroll with my level 7 scroll, so it's possible to beat someone with a treasure level of 3 higher than yours, but 4, nah, not so much. And now here's part 2 of secret number 4. So usually there's like 2 people you can beat out of 5 for sure. It's just part of the algorithm, they give you 3 hard opponents and 2 easier ones. 
So let me show you an example of which teams I would fight. So for the first one, yes, I definitely fight this one because they only have a level 4 scroll. It's a lot lower than mine. The second one, no way, no, no. They have a level 12 scroll and their robes are level 12, no way. The third one, nope, nope, they have a level 11 scroll, no way. Now the fourth one, nope, they have a level 12 scroll. And the fifth one, um, no. Okay, so as you see, I got really unlucky. I can only be like one of these people, which is this first person right here. So sometimes the algorithm gives you really bad matchups, especially like higher up in the arena, like top like 3000. Then you start getting really bad matchups. But lower in the arena, you can get like two out of five wins for sure. Now it's time for secret number five. I'm pretty OP as you see right here because I have like a lot of level 70 cookies and all that. So the reason why I'm kind of stacked for a free to play is because I've been playing for a really long time. I played every day for nine months straight, like not even kidding. So that's why I'm this stacked. So if you've only been playing for like a month or so, then you're not going to reach top 500 unless it's like Dark Cacao server. Now it's time for secret number six. You must manage your crystal refresh as well, and you also must manage your arena tickets really well. So as you see, you only get 30 your crystal refreshes a day, and yesterday I used like, like, I don't know, 25 of them. So I cut it really close to not reaching top 500 yesterday. So a way to get enough crystal refreshes is to actually start early in the season. Like you want to climb the leaderboard a little bit before you start your top 500 grind. So like just play arena normally and you'll be fine. Now for the arena tickets, here's a trick. So the day before you start your top 500 grind, you can actually buy a bunch of arena tickets with crystals. And then all those arena tickets actually carry over to tomorrow. So like you can buy a bunch of arena tickets the day before, like use up all 5 crystal refreshes. And then the next day you get 5 more crystal refreshes for tickets and you get the ones from yesterday. So that's one other trick. And one final trick to getting more arena tickets is the mileage shop. Very pay to win. I don't really use this method at all. Now, it's time for the biggest secret of all. I saved the biggest secret for last because like, you know, I only want to reward the people who actually watch the video. So you may be wondering, wait, I don't actually have the Radiant Hero Season 3 profile picture yet. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Well, you see, here's secret number seven. I know that I will get the profile picture just because I reached top 500. So if you look right here, the biggest secret, it says arena ranking reach master top 500. And look right here, this one word right here. The key word is reach. Not maintain, not stay in, but reach. So that means you can reach top 500 and drop down and you still get the profile picture. And how do I know that's true? Well, you see, I have this other top 500 picture from Dark Cacao season. So what I did was I reached top 500, then I dropped down to like top 5,000, but I still got the profile picture. So I can confirm this 100% works. So basically, don't worry about staying in top 500. All you have to do is reach it. So no one ever actually pointed that out on YouTube, so I'll be the first person to do it. So I just gave away all my secrets, so now you should subscribe. It's not every day that someone gives you their secrets.